Over the years, female personalities like Rafael Pimenta, Rachel Anderson, and Nuria Bermudez have risen through the ranks to command massive respect in the field of football agency. As the granddaughter of Ghana sports icon Ni Ajintete, FIFA licensed agent Pamela Nsasamwa is charting her path to her outfit Pangel's Consult after cutting her teeth in football for many years with then Ghana Premier League side Liberty Professionals FC. Considering the dialogue on females in the field in past years, seeing more female football agents is something Ansar Samoa is pleased with, especially concerning the positives they bring to the table. It's still difficult to be here in this terrain as a, a female, but I think the more the females venture it, the more they understand will be. And I think women come in with a little more compassion for these boys. Because, you know, the men are ruthless. It's about the business on the ground and the money. But we, the females, who have a little bit more compassion on what the player is feeling at the time. So I, I am happy that a lot of women are delving into this area. These, my boys that I, I, I they are, they are come and they, I monitor their everyday lives. I take them to school. I go for their PTAs. When it comes to what I have to do with them when it comes to football, I don't joke with them. I mean, I'm compassionate and understanding when maybe they, they wake up in a funny mood or I take my time to ask questions. But if you have to deliver on the park, I don't compromise on it at all. I, my players will tell you, they call me a monitoring spirit. I, even if I can't go for your game, I always have somebody on ground. I'll call the person and ask, how do you see the boys at that level? Yes. So for me, I think the compassion adds up to the whole package to make it a good package for the boys. Jennifer Mendelwitz served as the agent of Ghana's Mohamed Kudus up until her recent split with a West Ham player who will be represented by his family and a legal team. And Ansar Samoa expressed some concerns mixing business with family. It's quite the best to, to mix it with the family thing, but I don't know. For me, I, I this when I heard about it, I wasn't happy. I was wondering that this is an agent who has seen you through the tough days. I don't know how long they've been together, but I thought it was time they could sit down and agree. Whatever their disagreement was, they could have come to a certain agreement. The, the family should be involved, but to, to be the agent of the player makes it, I don't know. I, don't, I can't place a finger on the word I want to use, but I don't think it's the right call. Complicated? Yes, it makes it complicated. Especially, you know, when the family starts hearing all those huge figures, sometimes that's where the family wants to get involved. Okay, hey, he's taking, say, 100,000 euro, and the agent is supposed to be taking probably 10,000 a month. The family thinks it's too much. So if a family member is involved, then he, the family member takes, the money comes back to the family. But what I always say is, at the end of the day, what the family member would do, it's, you can't equal it to what an agent who is already involved in the business would do. So for me, I advise that the family can be part, but it, it's always very, very important that you use an agent, a professional agent. Kudus's decision to have his family represent him, however, is far from an obscure move since more athletes are picking family members as their representatives, and this is largely viewed as a threat to football agents. But Pamela Nsasamwa believes otherwise. I don't see it as a threat. For me, I think eventually the footballers get to understand that they need the professionalism better than the family ties. On her future as a football agent and the industry in general, Pamela Nsasamwa had a positive outlook. The field is... is uh, huge, it's vast, so there's space for everybody in the business. But the problem was when scammers were just uh, uh, trickling in. But I think FIFA is putting in measures that will, will, will pin out all those who are not doing the right things. Me, I think that not everybody has an eye for a player, not everybody has the heart and the brain to negotiate. So no matter how bad or how worse it gets, we will just always have to fish out the true ones and the ones who are really born for the job. Well, I see myself in the next five years to probably be the biggest thing that happened to Ghana football. Because, you know, for the, for the last three years or so, I've been just traveling around the country, 
trying to identify very young talent. And I've built myself in those, those years. I see myself eventually being sought out for because if I have all these boys in my camp, I have about 30 young boys who are below the age 18 years. And I'm still scouting for more young boys like that. I'm going all over, I travel everywhere. And so I see myself that in the next five years, these are the 16 year olds who will be 20, 21, 22. These are the ones that will be sought for in Europe. These are the ones that the national team will be looking for.